Hey everyone, so here I am doing exercise 6.1, fourth question. This is from class 6, integer chapter. The question here is, adjacent figure is a vertical number line representing integers. Observe it and locate the following points. So they have given few questions to solve here and this is the number line given to us on the right hand side. The first question here is, if point D is plus 8, then which point is minus 8? So you can see here they have given different alphabets and then we don't know which number is uh, which alphabet is what integer but we know only one which is d is plus 8 so let's write down the numbers first so here if this is plus 8 this will become plus 7 or you can just simply write 7 so this is 6 then 5 4 3 2 1 and this O is nothing but 0 right and then you know that if on the opposite side of the number line like of the opposite of the positive integer we get negative integer so after 0 here we'll get minus so this will be minus 1 then minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 minus 8 minus 9 and then this one is minus 10. Now the question here is if point D is plus 8 which is given here then which point is minus 8? So you can see here minus 8 is located here which is letter F. So answer for the first question will be F. So F is the answer for the first one. Then the next one is point G a negative integer or positive integer? So point G is located here and you can see it is lying on the opposite side that is like it's on the uh, down or the below of the zero which is negative. So G and you can see it, it is minus 6 it's obviously negative integer. So the answer for this question will be a negative integer. This one. Now the next one that is option uh, third question which is C write integers from point B and E. So for point B and E what are the integers they are asking? So point B is located here and the integer here is 4 and point E is located here at the corner of the number line which is minus 10. So here we're going to write down the answer. So for the point B it is 4 and for the point E or for the letter E it is minus 10. The next question, which point marked on this number line has a least value? Now remember, on the number line, obviously negative integers have the least value. But which in negative integers are least value? Whenever we have the greatest number, suppose if I talk about on this number line, you can see 8 is a positive integer on the one side of the number line. On here we got minus 10. So 8 is obviously all the positive integers are greater than negative integer. So we don't have to look here because you're asking the least value. So least means we have to look for the negative integer. Here minus 1 will be the greatest among the negative integer. If the number is greater with the negative sign then that number will become the smallest or it has a smallest value. So you can see the negative integer the 10 is a greatest number with the negative sign right. So if any greatest number it has a negative sign that will become the smallest or the it has a least value. So minus 10 will gonna have a least value and minus 1 if I talk about the negative integer minus 1 will be greater than minus 10. Okay. greater the integer with negative sign the smallest value the less value it has so answer for the fourth question is minus 10 or we can say e so here the answer is e which is minus 10 now the last question here is arrange all the points in decreasing order of value decreasing order means we have to write the greatest one and then go towards the smallest one so the greatest one here is d so let's start writing this so the first one is d so we have to just write down this letter d c b because as we go down the value is decreasing so first one is d then it is c then b we have a and then we have this O which is at the center of the number line 
O and then we have H and then G then F and the last one is E so this is a decreasing order of the value so this was simple question I hope this is clear in case you have any further question or doubts you can drop a comment below thank you so much for watching